Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Let's get it in. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo, the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early when I seek these scripture study and prayer line on his 30th day in uh, June, 22K. Let's get it in, y'all. We, we still dealing with the uh, with the uh, Corinthian series. So we're on 2 Corinthians, hallelujah, uh, the, 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 the 10th chapter. Let's rock. KJV, look what it say. Now I, Saul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of the Messiah who in uh, presence and base among you, but being absent and bold um, 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 towards you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according uh, to the flesh. See, 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 here we go again. Like, if you if you really look into it, like, in, in dealing with the body, dealing with believers, leadership, have challenges. And boy, was they challenging him. Challenges authority, looking down upon him, you know, lightweight being disrespectful. Well, good to see you on Trenda, uh, Matty Yahoo, Dawson, um, everybody. Um, I, I just dove straight in the words this morning, but I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. JB. Uh, in the building, all y'all, uh, Battle, Charvet, Elder, Hallelujah, Demina, all y'all. But <clears throat> he he had to deal with people. He he was dealing. He <laughs> like you, we can relate. I can. We're dealing with people that uh you know are lightweight, disrespectful spiritually. Um, haughty, extremely judgmental, or opinionated. You know, you know how I go. But look, so look, so, so look how he dealing with, it, right? He's saying, uh, well, well, let's read it in the uh, in, in the uh, NIV. Look what it says. By the humility and gentleness of the Messiah, I appeal to you. I, I, Paul, am who am timid when face to face with you, and bold towards you when away. I beg you that when I come, that I, I, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some people who think uh, that we live by the standards of the world. People had opinions, was calling them carnal, calling them fleshly. And you have people that be around you that look down upon you, that have a negative opinion of you. And he's saying, you know, I do have authority and I don't, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go there. You know, third verse, for, for, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after flesh. And we as believers, we need to know that you can, you can't, you can't get into tick for tack with people. It, this is, this is a spiritual warfare. In fact, we should be purpose driven enough to be vessels of honor. And we just want to help people be saved. And if we see somebody overtaken in a fall, if we're spiritual, we go into restoration mode as opposed to getting with them or getting at them. It's just not about that. And we need probably can use some improving, some growth in that area. Good to see you all, Rhonda and uh, Coach Don Dean. But we probably can use some 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 growth in that because because a, a lot of people, including believers, when when somebody get at them, they get back at them. Got the I ain't the one state of mind. You 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 found the right one this time type of attitude. And uh, you know we don't we, we shouldn't be like that at all either. I'm talking about we shouldn't be like that at all. So here it is, uh, uh, Saul Paul, uh, you know you know is saying I'm humble, I'm meek. I don't I don't want I don't want to have to you know get into this with you. You know, in fact, he was avoiding the going to see them, and he and he sent he sent Titus instead. Because he didn't want the friction. And he and then he resorted to sending letters as opposed to coming physically because he didn't want the issue. 
And so, of course, the letter will be bolder because he still got to correct them. So then that, they looking at him like he weak. And you, you get tough when you send letters. He's, he's letting them know that I'm coming and I don't want to have to get at nobody. I only use my authority for that. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds. This is a spiritual warfare. People want to sleep with you. That's, a, that's spiritual warfare if they're not your spouse. People cuss you out and being disrespectful. That's spiritual warfare. People are not functioning in the body like they should. Because a part of the, uh, the, 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 the situation was the giving piece. And he was using the Macedonians as an example. To provoke the Corinthians to, to give. Because they weren't giving like they used to. And, and the giving is to support the body. Period. It ain't to go in floss mode. It is, it, it is literally, it is literally uh, to support the body. That's what it's for. Right? But that's warfare to get folks to function. Everybody is not functioning. Everybody is not doing what they should do in the body for the body. If you is doing something for the body, you're definitely doing it through the body, through the, the spirit of the, of the Messiah, because it's, it's his body, right? But though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, they're not natural, right? But mighty through Yah, through the pulling down of strongholds, it's spiritual, right? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of Yah. It's casting down imaginations. Imaginations come. You, you see uh, uh, mental pictures, mental movies that are unyali, where the word is able to cast that stuff down and bring and, 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 and everything that exhausts itself. Wait, wait, hold on. For the website word for not carnal, but might through y'all to the pulling down of stronghold. It casts down imagination and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of Yah. The knowledge of Yah is the word. Right? And any imagination or thought that goes against the word, the word can subdue it. The, the, the word has power in and of itself, creating power. I try to teach people this. That, like, when the Most High said, let there be light, there was light because there's power um, in the word. There's life, literal, literal life in the word. You can call those things that be not as though they are because the power that caused them to be is in the word. He's teaching us how to have confidence in the word, to trust the word, even beyond circumstances because the word can change physical circumstances. That's how powerful it is. And, and, and you notice how the Messiah, became, the, the Messiah is the word becoming flesh. The son is the body because the word was born of a virgin. So the son is the body. When the fullness of time has come, Galatians 4 4, y'all. When the fullness of time has come, Yah sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. That's why uh, uh, John 3 and 6 say that which is that which is that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which uh, born of the spirit is spirit. Because our mothers is flesh, and, and, and our mothers made the flesh, the body, the son or the daughter. Where well, the word became flesh. It was the word. That humbled himself became flesh. Flesh being found fashioned as a man. Right? And what we need is the word. He, he, he didn't, he didn't when, 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 the, when, the, when the ruler called uh, him good, he said, there's none good but Yah, which is the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. Yah is what he said. He's the word. The words that I speak on you are spirit and life. Ain't number one spirit. And, and, and that spirit is the word. The expression of the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit. So the word itself is able to cast down. It's powerful. It, it has creating power. It, it, it is eternal life. Having the word, having what the Most High say, is life eternal. Not having what the, what, what, what the Most High say is death. The wages of sin is death. 
the wages of going against the word is death because the word is our very life. Everything he created, he created by the word. Even when he dealt with man, he went in the dirt, grabbed the dirt, and he breathed the word into him. He became a living soul. The Ruah, that spirit, the spirit of the word. Ain't number one spirit, the spirit of the word. Ephesians 4 and 4, ain't number one spirit, one Ruah. So look what it says. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not natural. But mighty through the most high, the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds, bad habits. The power of, of, of the flesh, that sinful nature, it can snatch it down. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of Yah. And the knowledge of Yah is the word. And bringing in captivity every thought to the obedience of the Messiah, which is the word. Made flesh. Well, the flesh died on the tree. Rose again, out of here. So then, so then the word came back without the body as the Ruah, the spirit, to be living, to live inside of, to lead and guide us, right? In the all truth. And having a readiness, sixth verse, y'all, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Did you know you're supposed to get to the point that you obey the word? And now you're supposed to be ready to revenge all disobedience? When your obedience is fulfilled, when you mature in the word, you should be a, 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 an example. You should be the head and not the tail. You should be the influencer and not the influence. You should be the leader and not the follower. You don't follow carnal people. You don't follow uh, uh, carnal mindsets. Bless is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali. Bless is the man that walketh not in, under the influence of the unyali, the, the, the natural, the carnal-minded person. Even the knowledge of this world can be compared. Read Corinthians uh, 1 and 2. We, we went through it. But the, 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 the wisdom in this world is foolishness to Yah. Can't, 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 can't. The, word, the word is way more powerful. And having read the sixth verse, y'all, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. We need to grow up and start walking according to the word. And not be subdued by natural situations. And we definitely shouldn't be led by our flesh. By the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. We should be led by his ruah, by the spirit of the word. We should be walking in obedience and walking in the victory. And when we get there, we should be, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, uh, Ephesians 5 and 11. Said, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but yet reprove them. We should have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. We should be ready to correct them. Yeah. And having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. You shouldn't be going along with the world. Hey, the, the, the church, so-called church, is twisted. Start preaching uh, sexual perversion, going along with the world. Preaching a perverted satanic love. That that's supposed to be more powerful than the than the the, 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 the love that the word would give. Uh, uh, they they come in with this perverted love, like it's better than the Most High, the Most High's love. Got 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 whoever obey the Most High, looking like they evil. We living in times where they call good evil and evil good, and you wonder why destruction is everywhere. You wonder why folks is breathing carbon dioxide and locked up, and all their freedoms gone. And we're on the brink of war and destruction. You wonder why the whore is about to be blown up. Tow, tow the heck up. You wonder why? Because she's the leader of this Satanism, this satanic position. Oh, you got some puppet masters that's leading her. Don't get it twisted. I know them that say they are Jews and they're not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You got some folks that, that's the puppet master behind uh, 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 the Babylonian mystery whore. But this place is in trouble. <laughs> Based on, 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 on sin. And the believer should be the one that should be ready to revenge all disobedience. Anything that goes against the Most High, the, the believer should be going against it. In the power of the Ruach. Yeah. But when you don't do that, then you you, you going down with her. Come out from among her. <laughs> At least you partake in, 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 in her destruction. And having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do you look on uh, things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts uh, 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 to himself that he 
he is the Messiah. Let him of himself think uh, this again, that he, he is the Messiah, even so are we. If you, well, let me run it back. Do, 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 do you look on things on an hour of appearance? Like, 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 like they can present a, 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 a lo lovers and say it's perverted love. That's some our opinion. And then and then you carnally say some stuff like, everyone have a right to love who they want to love. Yeah. Forget what the words say. Now you just superseded, you just trumped the most high on some outward appearance. Because because if you look on the inward appearance, you gotta deal with the words. You you gotta deal with what the most high say. Do, do, do you look on things on the outward appearance? Right? If any man trusts himself that he is the Messiah, let him of himself. Uh, uh, think this again that as he belongs to the side, even so are we. Don't don't think you say and, and, and we not, son. Don't don't think you say and, and, and leadership is and because you disgruntled, because you coming against authority, right? This is this is Paul, Saul's position here, right? For though I should boast somewhat more. Of our authority. See, he said, I got the authority to deal with you. He, he said, I really can, in the, in the authority of the most high, get at you, right? For though I should go somewhat more of our authority, which Yah has given us for edification and not for destruction, I should not be ashamed. He said, I got the authority to deal with you, but I don't want to use my authority to tear you down. I want to edify you. I want to build you up. I want to be a master builder to build people up in the most high as opposed to rebuking people to the point that they're crippled. I'm hurting people. I have the authority to, and they really oppose it themselves. It would be their fault. But I, I'd rather look past their faults and see their needs. I'd rather see someone that's overtaken in the fault go into restoration mode. Yeah. Nine first. Then I may that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Like the bully by letter. I have to correct you, so I, I put it in the letter. I didn't want to come see you and confront you. I sent a letter, now I'm about to come physically. And I don't want to get into comparison analysis that I'm bold behind a pen and paper. I can be bold in person too, right? Let us, let, let, let such a one uh, think this, that such as we are in word by letter, when we are absent, such we will be also indeed when we're present. Let them know I can bring it. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves amongst themselves are not wise. <laughs> You 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 don't want to you don't want to get into a, a fleshly comparisons, right? When he said, "For dare we we, we yeah, yeah. for for we dare not make ourselves of the number, uh uh uh, uh or compare ourselves with with with, with 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 some that commend themselves." In other words, beating your own drum, carnally, it ain't spiritual because none of this will be happening. Carnal people like to think they. They're better than you, and, and you know, they just they just mentally just a trip. Hard to raise some folk in the gospel in the best of race. Super hard because of their piousness. It, it just, it's just a difficult task, right? So he's saying, for we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. I'm not getting into that with you. I got the authority over you, but I'm not trying to use it to prove I got the authority over you. I'm going to use my authority to edify the body, and that's it. But they measure themselves by themselves. In other words, you, you know you know how people, I'm not as bad as them. All sin is sin. A little leaven left in the whole lump. You shouldn't be getting into comparison analysis. Because some people think that they're doing good based on someone that's doing worse. Well, both could not be doing good. The snake, Adam and Eve, all three of them was guilty, and all three of them got judged. And you shouldn't be getting into comparison analysis like that, right? But they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves among themselves. You're not wise, right? 13 verse. But we will not 
uh, 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 um, but we would not boast of things uh, without uh, without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which the Most High has distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. See, we don't get again into carnal measurements. What whatever authority we walk in. Whatever wisdom we walk in, whatever faith we walk in, it was distributed to us from Yah. And we're not going to go, we're not mentally going to go beyond that. Even though the authority that was given to the apostleship was big. Way bigger than obviously the Corinthian Ecclesia understood. It was super big. And he still didn't want to use it. He didn't want to flex. He didn't want to get into that. He didn't want to flex. Oh, the only thing he wanted for them to be saved. Have enough respect for him that he can minister to them and lead them to be closer to the Most High. That's it and that's all. And he wasn't going to get into no carnal competition with, with the body. Right? For we, for, for, for we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure. As though we reach not unto you. For we, for, for, for we are come as far as to you also in the preaching the preaching the gospel of the Messiah. Not boasting of things without our measure. That is, of other men's labors. But, but, but having hope, when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule, and, uh, our, our rule abundantly. <clears throat> he wasn't going to get into... Um, here we go. Let me listen. Not both of things with, with, without our measure, right? He, he's going to stay in what the Most High, the, the territory and the things that the Most High gave him, is what that's his boundaries. He's not trying to go over and beyond what the Most High had him doing, right? That is of other men's labor. It, Paul had the state of mind, Saul had the state of mind. He didn't want to start building on somebody else's foundation. He was going out in uncharted terrain, per se, to preach the gospel, to plant. He was more of one that, that wanted to plant. Others can give to water what he planted, but he wasn't into going and then taking credit for something somebody else did. He was going out and going and, and, and bringing the best array, the gospel to the, to the Gentile believers, bringing them in. He, 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 was bringing, he was bringing the Gentiles in. In uncharted waters, and and that was his that was his goal, and then he wanted to build them up that they didn't expand. Yeah, he wanted them to grow in the gospel, and then they start growing and become fruitful, and and, and the ministry and the ecclesia expand. Not boasting of things without our, our measure, that is of of other men's labor, but having hope when your faith is increased that we shall be enlarged. I'm dealing with y'all. We're going to grow by you according to our, ru our rule abundantly to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in other man's, <clears throat> in other man's lines of things made ready to our hand. I just explained all that to you. That's what he was saying. But he, but, but, but he that glorieth, let him glory... Uh, in, in, in the Messiah, if, if, if you if, if if there's anything to glory about, it's not in us. When He found us, we was dead in our sins. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We need help. We need to be rescued from even from ourselves, and we can't get caught up in this charade, right? When you get the revelation that the wages of sin is death, um. If, 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 if you're born a pet bull in, in, in a pet bull camp of pet bulls and, and the camp you're born in, fight them. They fight them. And, and they fight to the death. You got to go through a, a transformation, pet bull, in order to stop wanting to fight and kill, to taste the blood. And though, and though we were, for the lack of a better term, born to die because of sin, because we've been tainted by sin, so we were born to die. But the Most High attached the resurrection. 
And through the process of being acquainted to that level of evil, we grow from it. We grow from it. He even said it up, we can grow through it. Growing through it sends us through a transformation process to where we can look in the mirror of the word and begin to see what he wanted us to look like from the gate. The species mankind has been tainted, but we can look in the mirror of the word and see what he intended. And we start going through the transformation process. Some of us will turn bitter as opposed to becoming better. But his sheep hear his voice. Those that belong to him understand things that the carnal mind can't understand. And they're more submissive to the process. Paul was a partaker of that process, and he was trying to share that process with, 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 with the, the Corinthian believers. He was meeting opposition. He was meeting people that was coming against him and trying to pull him back into the carnal arena. And he said, I'm not going. I got to defend myself from you, and I'm not going to use my authority on you. I want to use the authority the Most High gave me to build you up. Period. He said, but when I come, I'm going to have to deal with some of y'all. To some of y'all, y'all ain't getting it. A whole lot of them submitted to the letter. A whole lot of them let Timothy know, no, Paul is, Titus know rather, that Paul is good. We love him. We get it. We, we want to we wanna make, we want to clear up some stuff. You're always going to have some folks, uh, you know, in, in ministry that ain't going ain't gonna to line up like they should. And he said, and, and I'll deal with them when I get there too. If, if, they, if, they, if they pull me out, I'm going to come and I'm going to have to deal with them. Right? 17 verse though, but he that glory, let him glory in the, in, in the Mashiach, y'all, in, in the Most High, right? 18 verse, for, 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 for not he that commended himself is approved, but whom the Most High commended. That's the last verse, right? But look, you can teach, ah, oh, there go my sis, Jackie, how you doing? Young lady, love you. But listen, y'all, look, look, people have a tendency to commend themselves. And say they approve. Say, say, say that their relationship with the Most High is good. That don't mean it is. That's what this is saying. For, for, for not he that committed himself is approved, but whom the Most High committed. We need to hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And, and, a, and a good preacher and a good teacher will put you in a position that you stop committing yourself like you and the Most High is good when it's not. And prayerfully, the world will spark you to want to get it right. Look at our surroundings. Look at the world we're living in. Destruction is here. And it's unfolding. And it ain't even finished unfolding. It just started. You think it's ba bad now? This is the beginning of sorrow. It's finna get unbearable for the wicked. It's finna be unbearable. You can't bear it. It's finna get bad. And it's designed for it to be unbearable for those that will willingly walk away from the most high and be wicked anyway. Can't even put it in words, y'all. But the most high know how. And he going to. The devil have rights to his children. The devil has rights. And he's a taskmaster. The devil has rights. The devil won't rights over the Most High's children, but the Most High took the sting out of death for his children. The Most High gives up, give us power. You see, the Most High, for his children, he will not suffer his children, he will not allow them to suffer above that which they are able, but with the temptation, make a way of escape, that, they, that they'll be able to bear it. His children will bear it, because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. It's the ones that don't have that that's not going to be able to bear it. They're not going to be able to bear it. It's going to be too much. Yeah, it's too much. And it's designed for it to be too much for those that willingly uh, uh, reject such a salvation, to walk away from uh, uh, the transformation process, to walk away from a process that wants to forgive you, wants to forgive you. We got a vessel right here, Saul. They call him Paul, y'all. Just working hard with them. He writing letters. He's showing up. He's sending folk. He's doing everything he know how to save some. Whomever will be willing to be saved. He's doing everything he can. 
going out and warning and he's saving and he's writing. And that's what we're still doing, y'all. We're still loving on, on our loved ones and begging them, pleading with them, begging them by the mercies of the Most High that we present our bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto Yah is our reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can prove that which is good, acceptable in his perfect will. In these last and wicked days, it's ugly. And you got, you got Satan that want authority over everybody. He want to kill everybody. He want authority over everybody. But he can't have authority over uh, the most high's children. The fight is fixed for his children. And if anyone on the side of my voice belong to him, come on out of the darkness. Allow... Uh, even the circumstances you face. The most high ain't even a hater. The most high ain't even a hater. Even though you wouldn't come to him when you thought it was good, he'll still even allow you to come to him because you try to escape the bad. Fall down on your face and apologize to him. He's not a hater. He promises all the penny. Some of us have been working a long time. He said at the end of the day, when the bell rings, you're going to get a penny. You can come in at the last second before the bell ring. He'll still give you the same penny as he gave to somebody who's been doing this for the last 50 years. Because he's not a hater like that. Allow the circumstances to, to, to alarm you to the point that you fall down on your face. You fall down on your face for not only your soul's sake, but for, for, for the soul's sake of your family. For your loved ones. Fall down right now and repent. Accept Yahushua as master as savior of your life, as your Messiah, and do it now. Denounce sin and cry out before. He said, I stood at the door and knock. If any man hear it open, he said, I'll come in and I'll break the bread of life with you. I will give you that same bread that we were just talking about. That same bread, that same word that, that's, that's able to cast down imagination and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of Yah and bring captivity every thought to the obedience of the Most High. You might have some thoughts in you that are not obedient to the most high. But the word is able to cause those thoughts to submit. Because the word is it, it's quick and powerful. Sharper than any to his sword. It, it, it's able to, to destroy anything that's not like you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right on Jackie. Fall down. <clears throat> we need to fall down before him and quit. Let me go. Get out my bed. Get, out, get, off, get off the drugs. Uh, cussing folks out, shooting and looting, polluting. Players, pimps, stop, quit. Alcohol is drunk, quit. The party's over, oops, out of time. Quit. Repent. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. And so was, so, so was Paul. Last verse, y'all. For, 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 for not he that commended himself is approved. You say you good? No, you're not. Unless you are. For he, he, for, for not he that committed himself is approved, but whom the most high said, Well done. You accepted the gift. You walked away from sin. You quit. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly, humbly as we know how we need you desperately. Um, I'm, I'm praying. Uh, for your children even right now, that they, they walk away from sin willingly and they cry out before you and accept you as Lord, Master of their life, Messiah, uh, a, a, a Savior of their life. That, that, that they accept the fact that you died on that tree for their sins, you rose again with all power. And if they receive you into their life, uh, uh, that you would save them. Open their hearts right now. You're standing at the door knocking. Cause them to open their hearts. Come in and flood them. Ground them with the spirit of repentance right now that they walk away from all sin. They're willing to turn from all sin and, and, and trust you that you're able to present them blameless. They can't do it. Cause them to submit to you, crying out, Father, save me. In Yahushua's name, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all that. <laughs> hallelujah. Bless you. I see you. I see you, sis. Jackie, I see you. Love you, girl. You already know, though. Um, that was a lesson for everybody. I'm getting personal with my sis, though. I see her. But um, the, the lesson and the prayer was for everybody uh, that love the most high and tired of this place. Um, real talk. Party over. Out of time. Let's all submit to him. Let's all let him take control of our lives because we need to be rescued and we need it desperately because the devil got a chokehold and he ain't letting it go. 
Hallelujah. But great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. You receive him, you got everything you need. Because him being for us is more than the whole world being against us. Receive him. Hallelujah. Spread the word. I pray you are blessed by the lesson. If you were, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Hallelujah. I pray someone be blessed as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, push the share button, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. Spend some time with him today. Pray and read and read and pray. Spend some time with the most high today. Hallelujah. Spread the word. Um, and again, I'm always uh, grateful for anyone who supports this ministry. <clears throat> I'm humbled and I'm blessed. You, you guys help me do what I do. And, 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 and I have to take the time to acknowledge that and say and say thank you. If there's anyone that's being blessed by this ministry and want to support it so we can continue to do what we're doing, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. And you can support the ministry like that. You also do it through uh, the Facebook. You just go on Messenger and there's a, a, a support button um, in there. Let's get ready to go talk about the word, y'all. Yo, fine. You want to talk about it? All you got to do is dial 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Y'all chime on over there. Keep that number because at noon, we uh, we use that number and pray. We just try to encourage one another and keep the most high in our life all through the day. And then we're going to double back at 7 for uh, another prayer with Matter Yahoo Dogs. Um, we, we, you know, three times a day, we trying to get it in, y'all. Let's chime on over there. Y'all remember, chime over there, try to keep it short so everyone can get a turn. Let's try to remember that. Let's, let's, let's make space so everyone get a turn because some of, some people got to get off the line and I know we'd be excited and loving on the most high and we can just go there. So try to, you know, try to, you know, remember to make room for someone else so we can all get it in. Love y'all. Love you, Jackie. Good, good to see you, man. You know, I love y'all. All y'all. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be baruch and brachy shalom. I'm gone.